Okay, we'll live on YouTube. I think she is facing some internet issue. Hi Simran, nice to see you. Hi Yashasvi. After this, all are excited. Hi ma'am. We'll have to wonder what else to do. This was quite exciting journey. So let's see what you'll do with your thinking hats. I'm sure you'll have bright ideas for this. How many people are there in the waiting room? Twenty-three. Simran, you're not very audible. I'm not. Yeah, now you are. I'm just trying to find Madhura Mahalam. Good morning, Nisha. Good morning, Asta. Hello, everyone. Okay, I see a lot of people connecting to audio. I'm going to wait for a minute. Okay, great. Good morning, everyone. Aspire for Foundation welcomes you all to the professional upskilling workshop. By the time people are joining in, why don't you all quickly tell us in one word how you found the previous three sessions? Just in one word, how you all found the previous three sessions? Fantastic. Good morning, everyone. I see a lot of good morning in the chat box. So amazing to see all of y'all up on a Sunday morning attending these workshops. Disha says amazing. Shamali says fantastic. Thank you, Shamali and Disha. What about others? One word to describe this session. Come on, come on, come on. Informative. Informative? Did I hear informative? Mm -hmm. 
Thank you. Innovative. Innovative. Thank you. Lovely. So good to so good to read all the messages in the chat box. We're yeah. so happy you all found it. Amazing, <laughs> awesome, and excellent in all of it. Okay, great. So I'm sure by now all of y'all are members of PFH, but just in case. Yeah, Girisha, you're on mute. Sorry. Okay. So I'm sure all of y'all are members of PFH by now. Just in case y'all aren't, make sure y'all join us right away. The link is in the chat box. Uh, be a part of a community to avail all these benefits that we have to offer. Uh, and I also hope that you all have installed LinkedIn in your phones. It will come in handy during the session. Uh, if you all haven't done so yet, again, the link is in the chat box. Please do so. Okay. So before we begin the workshop, we have with us our founder and CEO, Madhura Das Gupta Sena, ma'am. The person who has made it possible to explore our potential through this platform. I request Madhura ma'am to share a little about the foundation with the audience. Thank you so much, Kirsha. And as always, it is absolutely wonderful uh, to be in your company this Sunday morning. Uh, you know, some time back, I wrote a post on LinkedIn. And I know that today's session is specifically on LinkedIn about the kind of courses, the kind of work, the kind of peer learning uh, that we are engaging in uh, with your college. And I was overwhelmed. Not only because a lot of people said, hey, this seems to be a completely new thing that you guys are all working together. Uh, you know, the girls in the Patna College are getting together with the girls across the country, across the world, in fact, uh, and learning together. And this is such an amazing thing to do. But I want to call out Asta because Asta wrote a very beautiful reaction uh, to my post. And Asta, I just love that because she wrote from her heart. Thank you so much, ma'am. Thank you. She wrote from her heart and uh, so many people have seen that message that she has written uh, and have also reacted to her uh, in a very positive way. So all of you know, and uh, as Girisha mentioned, I'm sure all of you have become members of Aspire for Her by now. Uh, if you haven't, please do so within the next five seconds. Because this is a community which will help you interact with peers who are like-minded. Peers who have just one agenda of seeing you succeed professionally. Because as women in today's world, we have to ensure we all pursue amazing careers. Of course, we should all have great families as well. But what is important is that we have an identity of our own, not just somebody's wife or mother or daughter or sister, but just somebody. So thank you very much for joining all of these workshops. This is the last in a series of four that Girisha, Palak, Burleen, all of them have put together. We are very proud and happy of all of you who have taken out time on a Sunday morning to come in and do this. My special thanks to Nandini ma'am, uh, to principal ma'am, and to all the faculty who have actually made this unique format of learning possible and for us to experiment, grow, and learn. On LinkedIn, I will just leave you with one final, final message from my side. LinkedIn is a great place to network with like-minded professionals. Some of us, 
you know, may have all kinds of apprehensions about joining the social media. Remember, LinkedIn is not really social media. LinkedIn is a platform where you interact with people who can be potentially your co-workers, your bosses, or maybe in your team someday. And if you start posting on LinkedIn, you start being on LinkedIn to start with, it's a fantastic way of reaching out to others across the country, across the world. So please be on LinkedIn if you are not. And I would expect that every person who has attended this workshop will A, link up with me. My name is Madhura Das Sinha. All of you can see it. I'm moving aside so that you can see my full name. I think there is only one Madhura Das Gupta Sinha on LinkedIn. So you will find me very easily. So please come and link up with me. Send me an invitation. I promise I will accept every invitation as soon as I receive it. Number two, and I'm sure all the people who are today taking the workshop, I, th I think Simran is one of them. Uh, Gulin maybe is one of them. Whoever is taking the workshop today will also tell you to do that. But I am giving you a task from my side. Make your first post, even if you haven't done so. And that first post should be about this workshop. So talk about it, talk about what you learned and ensure that you use a very powerful feature of LinkedIn called tagging. Because only if you tag another professional, only if you tag another organization, they actually know that you exist and you have something to say. You have a voice. And it's very, very important for all of us that all women in our country have a voice. With that, I hand over to Girisha. Thank you very much for doing this. Your entire interaction and thanks to all the women in Patna Colleges, this is becoming like a case study. It is something that we want to do across the country and one day across the world. Thank you. Thank you so much, ma'am. Uh, I would also like to extend my thanks to Nandini, ma'am. She is the economics head of department and the coordinator of placement cell at JD Women's College. She has been extremely supportive and enthusiastic throughout the workshop series and has helped us bring together AFH and JD Women's College. I would request her to share a few words. Nandini ma'am, we can't hear you. Okay, I think we'll come back to Nandini ma'am towards the end of the session. Uh, so back in February, Aparna Priyam from JD Women's College joined our community as an ambassador and did an exceptional job. She has been an organizing committee member for professional upskilling workshops and has been very dedicated and responsible. I request her to share her experience at AFH with the audience. Abarna, you're on mute. Yeah. Yes, yes. Good, up, good, good morning, everyone. I am a Parna Priyam student of JD Women's College. I was an ambassador at AFH oh, from Feb to March. When I joined AFH, I was a bit overwhelmed about everything. But after a few meetings and interactions, I I totally understand about what's the program and uh, what's its expectations. Everyone in the team was so helpful and supportive. They always guided me 
and now i can say that my afit journey was super exciting it developed my soft skills make me aware of regional marketing networking apart from this i made some new friends also that is so exciting i didn't even realize that one month how fast it was it ended so i so many things uh, by doing so, so many things by learning so many things by doing so many new tasks for that i am really glad to fh i would ensure you i would recommended you all to join the next month amb ambassadorship program and uh, i i can uh, assure you to that uh, it program will amazing and uh, fruitful thank you have a nice day thank you so much aparna that was really sweet of you uh before we begin the session last week we had given a small activity to you, to you all to make uh, some creatives on canva with the key takeaways about the last week session and we are so thrilled to see the responses our emails kept blasting we kept getting responses from you all and i would like to show three of our favorite creatives can someone confirm if my screen is visible yes it's visible great so this one's by vandana thank you for all the key takeaways vandana this is absolutely amazing if you are in the meeting please raise your hand or drop a message in the chat box so we can applaud you okay this one's by anjali another very beautiful creative anjali please please raise your hand drop a message in the chat box we we absolutely appreciate you for this it's amazing and this one by very own ambassador aastha thank you for all the kind words aastha this is amazing my pleasure we are so so happy to see that you all are implementing the skills that we have been trying to impart now without further ado let's begin with the workshop we welcome you all to the fourth and final session of this professional upskilling workshop series linkedin our speakers for the day are gurleen panu and simran khen supported by sneha ganesh and zoya javed gurleen is a second year undergrad student pursuing her bachelor's in computer science engineering having been a part of efh since the past 7 months she currently leads the ambassador program in communities at efh she loves reading and talking about historical fiction and uses linkedin twice as much as she does any other social media platform simran is an aspiring entrepreneur with a bachelor of arts in apparel design currently she is pursuing a job in advertising and marketing and paving a way through gaining knowledge about market and the art of storytelling sneha ganesh is an undergraduate student pursuing a triple major in mathematics statistics and computer science from christ university she works at as far for her as the lead alliances and collaboration manager Zoya Javed is currently studying in high school and has been working at AFH since the past 5 months in departments such as member acquisition, social media and AFH month. We promise you this session will bring to you tons of insights on how to use LinkedIn effectively. We hope all of you have installed LinkedIn. If not yet, I will be posting the link in the chat box. Do it soon. you can write your queries in the chat box and we will address them towards the end of the session over to you simran thank you girisha hi everyone a very good morning i hope you guys are all pumped up for today's session um joining us on a sunday morning let me tell you guys you guys are very dedicated huh? so without further delay let Again, today's workshop is on LinkedIn and how to use that platform effectively. So, quickly, I'm going to ask you guys: Why do you think LinkedIn is important, and why should people use LinkedIn? Before 
that LinkedIn is a social network for job seekers, professionals, and businesses. You can build your network, find business contacts, connect with recruiters, and use your professional profile as an online resume. I'm sure all of these things are equally important when we want to choose our ambition, our profession, and thrive in our future. Why you need to be on LinkedIn? These are some of the stats which is of 2021, there are 310 million active users. So if you're not there on LinkedIn, you're clearly missing out on something. LinkedIn has over 30 million companies. Can you believe that? It's not even India. Overall, when you choose to be on LinkedIn, you are globalizing yourself. You're creating a brand identity for yourself. There are 14 million companies active job listings. There are 90 million LinkedIn users as senior level influencers. 30, 63 million users are in decision-making positions. And more than 90% of recruiters use LinkedIn regularly. So if you're looking for a job and if you're not there on LinkedIn, you should go right now and sign up because especially now when in this digital age and everything is going online, it is really, really important and I cannot stress enough on this. So Kevin, some of the points... Sorry to cut you. Can you be a little louder? Yeah. Thank you. So some of the points that I've noted down for you to cover why LinkedIn is so important, it makes you more searchable for personal branding. So whenever someone's searching for you on Google, the first thing that would come up is a Facebook profile or a LinkedIn profile. So make sure you have updated your profile so well that LinkedIn comes before and people can search you from anywhere around the world. Second point would be builds online credibility. It creates a professional identity. It's your online resume, something added added information about you for people to see what are you doing in your life? What are, you, what are your ambitions? What experiences you have? A uh, third point would be wonderful resource for networking. So get connected with different professionals from diverse industries, domains, and backgrounds. If you think you're into marketing or you're into engineering or any other domain and you think, only connecting to those people is important. No, you should everything right now in this new era is about collaborating. So make sure you follow different people from different diversities, different domains, different backgrounds, so you know what's happening around the world. You can search for job, browse on the go inside job alert so that you can be the first one to apply and Keep searching. Also follow your companies, the companies that you aspire to work at at some point in your life. So that whenever there's an opening, you can just go there and apply. There are about, when I applied for my first job, the first application, there were already 700 applicants. So imagine if there's 700, there's 1% chance that you'll be selected. So make sure you put that job alert and you know when there's an opening, you can grab that opportunity as soon as possible. Research and marketing. So stay on top of the latest news and conversation happening in your industry and also other industries. You should know what's happening around you. Also, we, we as all the 14 members in a staff of her, all of us, I'm sure, scroll, scroll through LinkedIn more than Instagram. So if you're spending one hour, two hours on Instagram scrolling through, make sure you push that time and focus on LinkedIn because this will seriously make you go to places and it's really, really important. As I mentioned earlier, globalization. So by being active on LinkedIn, you're making your profile available for a very broader audience. The fourth uh, Berlin starts uh, how to create an account on LinkedIn. I'm sure if you guys have downloaded LinkedIn, have gone through the AI, are sure how it looks like, and I'm not getting confused right now. 
So uh, over to you, Dillian. Okay, so before we begin with like uh, how to create an account, let's just get a quick heads up about what are your current status with using LinkedIn. So there's a poll that must have launched on your screen. Just quickly let us know um, in which group do you belong? Okay, can you see it now? You can all interact with this poll and just let us know what are your what is your current group. Okay, I see that a lot of you haven't installed LinkedIn yet. You don't have an account. So don't worry, you've come at the right place. That's exactly what we're going to talk about today. Okay. So as you all can see, most of you all are not on LinkedIn yet. You haven't made an account. A uh, few of you have an account, but you don't use it. So I think all of this has to change. If you're there on LinkedIn and you're not using it, please do because it's, it's a great platform and you should capitalize on it. Now, before we move on further, there's another question that we would want you all to address. So um, LinkedIn is a very professional platform, right? So you need to be sure why are you going to use LinkedIn? What is your interest? So uh, quickly interact with this poll and just let us know why do you want to be on LinkedIn? Can you all see the poll? Okay, awesome. Okay, I see that a lot of you want to find jobs and internships via LinkedIn and want to improve your network. So um, those are the kind of questions we're going to be addressing today. So uh, we'll quickly begin with how should you create your account? Just confirm if you can see my screen. Yes, that's okay. Okay. So uh, we'll begin from the initial few things that you see on the screen. We'll begin from the top to bottom. So the very first thing uh, that you need to do is you need to create an account. Now, uh, you have two different ways to do it. You can either do it through your laptop, go through the website and make an account, or you can go through your mobile, do uh, download the application and uh, uh, start off with the further process. So this is the site that you can go on, LinkedIn's official site. And when you go on LinkedIn's official site, you want to click on join now. Okay. And if you already have an account, you might as well just go and just sign in. Okay. When you click on join now, uh, there are two different options that are available with you. You can either go ahead with your Google account or you can create your own account using your mail ID. Right. So whatever's comfortable for you, please go ahead with that. Next, you're going to have a couple of uh, fields that are, keep on, uh, that are going to keep on coming. So fill in the up till. In that, uh, since most of you all are students right now, you might as well go ahead and select, I'm a student, and then uh, you can fill in your rele relevant details, right? You can add in your uh, educational background and all of those details. So it's a very, very clear concept, a very clear way of going about how to create an account on LinkedIn. Um, if you go on the mobile application, it's going to be the very same thing. Uh, the only difference is you'll get it in the form of a nice GUI. So you can download LinkedIn's mobile application. I'm sure Girisha has put up the link in the chat box already. So download the application, follow the same proce uh, procedures, click on join now, Google account or using your mail ID and follow the same steps as you would for the web version. And this is how your profile would initially look. Right? When I've added in none of the details, right? I've just added in my name 
and I've added where do I stay. Okay, so this is how it's going to look on your website and this is how it's going to look on your phone. Okay, so we're going to build from this initially. So we're going to uh, start from the very uh, top elements and then we're going to go down. So first off, we'll start off with your profile picture. Now, why do you need a profile picture? If I hear a name Aparna, if I hear a name Simran, I feel like I know so many Aparnas and Priya Simrans, right? How do I recognize which Aparna am I going to connect with? So that is when your profile picture comes in handy. It helps people recognize you, okay? So since this is a professional platform, you don't want to put anything. You don't want to put any random picture with any random filters, right? You want to keep it professional, right? And you want to put such a picture the way you want people to perceive you, right? If you want to think of them as, you know, want them to think of you as someone who is approachable, who's smart, who's intelligent, who's a boss lady, you know, you want to dress up and, you know, click a picture that way, right? It does not have to be a professionally taken picture. Hum sab ke paas nahi hota DLRS, right? To aapke smartphone se bhi aapne jo picture li hai, aap wo bhi use kar sakte ho, right? All our smartphones are very well developed now. We have great access to, uh, you know, brilliant cameras in our smartphone. Click a picture from your smartphone, choose an existing picture that you have in your phone and use that. Okay? But you need to make sure that your head is properly visible. You don't want to show your body, right? You want to show your head because it's a small circle, right? People need to be able to see you and recognize you. Make sure that your head is properly visible and the zooming is right, right? You don't want it to be too zoomed in or too zoomed out, okay? And the last thing is ensure that the picture quality isn't too bad. How many I told you that you can use picture of your smartphone. But make sure that at least it is visible enough. People can recognize you, right? Uh, and it is also said that, you know, um, just, putting a, uh, just putting a profile picture increases the number of messages coming to you by 10 times, right? So make sure that you do this, okay? And make sure that you use your recent photograph. You don't want to put your bachpan ka picture and then expect people are going to recognize you, right? So you put your recent picture, uh, recent photograph and uh, follow these particular uh, steps and you're good to go. Okay, here are a few examples of profile pictures. Now these, what you see on this side are professionally taken pictures and these are just taken from your smartphone. Do I see a very big difference? Do I feel like, you know, these are less appealing and these are more appealing? No, maybe, yeah. Maybe when you're, you know, at a very professional uh, position, Maybe then you might want to think of like, you know, okay, okay, chalo, main ek achhi professional picture kheech leti ho, wo dal togi. But when you're students, when you're in our age, it's, it's not necessary that you have access to, you know, DSLRs and you can get a professional picture clicked. But it's okay to get up, uh, to put a picture from your smartphone, but just make sure that your head is properly visible. You're sitting in the right position, right? Or standing in the right position, however, okay? Make sure that it looks professional. Moving on. The next thing that you see uh, in the very top of your uh, profile is the background picture. Okay, it is also called banner sometimes. So a picture speaks way louder than words, right? So when you, most of us are, you know, we don't like to go through a lot of text, but when we see a picture, we pause and we look at the picture, right? So make sure that your picture, the whatever picture you're selecting, speak about you, uh, are true to your personality, right? You can use the background picture. A lot of people have confusion about why should I put a background picture? Like, what should I put in it? So put any of your skill or achievement. Say, for example, I'm a, I like coding, right? So my background picture uh, necessarily has a laptop, which has a few code written on the laptop screen. Okay, that is my profile, my background picture. So anything that you feel like, you know, Maybe you like writing. So maybe you can put up a background image that shows, you know, a notepad and a pen, something like that. Okay. So you can use your background pictures uh, to talk about different things. So you can portray a skill or achievement, or maybe you worked in a team, right? Um, uh, maybe you were involved with some organization committee and you feel like, you know, 
that is the picture that is the team where i had like a lot of learning and you want people to you know uh, when people go through your profile they see that particular picture uh, particular picture you want them to like ask you questions ki okay when they connect with you and send you messages ki i saw this background picture uh, can you tell me more about what happened in that event because it looked fascinating to me theek hai so you can initiate conversations even with your background picture and profile pictures also we guys had a canva session before this right about uh, you know creating posts and uh, editing you can also use canva to create your own linkedin banner because see the dimensions of uh, the linkedin banner are not the kind of dimensions you usually click a picture in right so maybe you want to adjust a few uh, adjust the picture a little bit add it in your uh, linkedin banner uh, uh, so linkedin banner is usually uh, 1584 into 396 the ratio is that so you can go ahead on canva you can search for linkedin banner you will get it and you can make it or you can just put in custom uh, uh, dimensions and you can uh, go ahead and create your own linkedin uh, banner for yourself and make sure that you don't put something too fancy right you don't want it to look too fancy you want it to be true to yourself so keep it subtle keep it powerful and keep it something that you want people to uh, to look at right so here are a few examples so he is a ceo and uh, he is a ceo of purple health so he wants to keep that uh, he has kept it uh, as his background uh, background image that makes sense right harish here is a creative artist so that is what he is depicting even with his background image harshit is interested in debating he is interested uh, in uh, going for months right so that is what he has shown through his uh, background picture so make sure that you know you are sitting down before you curate your own uh, curate your entire profile make sure that you sit back think ki mera purpose kya hai मैं इस चीज से क्या बताना चाहती हूँ ठीक है तो आप जब वैसे सोचोगे एवरीथिंग विल अलाइन ओके नाउ द नेक्स्ट थिंग दैट कम्स अंडर योर प्रोफाइल पिक्चर बैकग्राउंड पिक्चर योर नेम इज योर हेडलाइन ओके ऑल द प्रोफाइल पिक्चर एंड बैकग्राउंड इमेजेस आर द फर्स्ट थिंग दैट पीपल आर गोइंग टू सी द फर्स्ट थिंग दैट पीपल विल रीड ऑन योर प्रोफाइल इज गोइंग टू बी योर हेडलाइन ओके ना चूज योर पोजिशन टू डिस्प्ले वाइजली now uh, say you are currently working with uh, cisco okay and you've previously worked with uh, you've had four or five previous uh, work experience maybe you don't want to put them all you know i did this position at this this position at this and so on and so on even if you like have to put a position we'll see how you can put it later on when i'll show you an example but make sure that you're putting the right things right you choose what to display wisely you only have 120 characters this is a seller for you if your headline is not good enough people are most likely not going to scroll down and even go through your uh, summary your posts right so make sure that you're using these 120 characters very wisely display what you really want people to know about you okay use the right keywords now whenever i need to search for somebody say for example i'm looking for someone who can you know uh, who is interested in um, web designing okay so those are the kind of keywords i'm going to search for in the search bar theek hai to aap aise hi mat dalo ki i i like designing websites theek hai that is a little that's a sentence that is too naive right you want to make sure that you that you're not putting complete sentences in your headline you're using the appropriate keywords and you're putting that in your headline theek hai so agar aapko bolna hai ki aapko website banana acha lagta hai you can rather put that i'm a, uh, that uh, you can put web designing digital design website designer don't put i like designing websites nahi matlab bana aapne apne 120 characters mein se thode se characters waste kar diye jo aap potentially kisi aur cheez ke liye use kar pate right now if you don't put any uh, headline uh, on your own it will default to your current job title and company or your current uh, education okay say for example i am doing btech in computer science engineering अगर मैंने कोई हेडलाइन नहीं डाला तो वो इट विल डिफॉल्ट टू बी टेक इन कंप्यूटर साइंस इंजीनियरिंग फ्रॉम सो एंड सो इंस्टीट्यूट ठीक है नाउ हियर आर फ्यू एग्जांपल्स ऑफ हेडलाइंस दैट स्टूडेंट्स यूज ठीक है अभी सिंस मोस्ट ऑफ यू ऑल आर गोइंग टू बी लुकिंग फॉर जॉब्स हियर आर टू थिंग्स टू और थ्री थिंग्स दैट यू कैन पुट इन योर हेडलाइन दैट यू नो 
मेक्स इट वेरी एपरेंट फॉर दी रिक्रूटर की ओके दीज पीपल आर लुकिंग फॉर जॉब एंड मे बी दीज पीपल आर इंटरेस्टेड ठीक है सो द वेरी फर्स्ट थिंग इज हैश टैग ओ एन ओ ना हैश टैग ओ एन ओ इज दैट यू आर लुकिंग फॉर रिक्रूटमेंट ठीक है ओपन टू ओपन टू ऑपरचुनिटीज ओके सो दैट्स वॉट योर हैश टैग ओ एन ओ इज so supposing if you don't want to put a hashtag chalo theek hai you don't want to put it there are different ways you can still you know make sure that people understand that you're looking for a job or internship so you can put something like actively looking for so and so internship or so and so job theek hai you can put something like that or you can put open for opportunities in so and so field theek hai so that is how you can go ahead with it so since maybe you don't have a lot of achievements maybe you you were not associated with a lot of uh, you know uh, organizations you didn't do a lot of internships you can still add in your own university's name mention your course and your headline will still look good enough okay to aise nahi sochna ki chalo theek hai maine koi internship nahi ki ya maine koi organization ke sath kaam nahi kiya to mera headline thoda weak lagega aisa kuch nahi hai if you if you can just even put your uh, university's name your course and you know what are you good at maybe you might have might want to add in a few things that you are good at say creative writing or uh, editorial whatever you can put it in your headline theek okay? hai so this is another uh, another uh, headlines example and this person has you know um, uh, this person has mentioned that she is uh, an it engineer who's graduating in 2022 theek okay? hai and she has mentioned a few of her um, you know most uh, valuable courses what is she good at what is she interested in and what is she uh, you know what is her uh, agenda behind being on linkedin that she is looking for internships okay and she has mentioned one of her core positions okay so these are a few examples that you can follow and suppose that you know uh, this is basically for working professionals and even if like you've worked in a, a particular uh, you've done internships at some particular uh, organizations you can add in something like that okay something like this this is your current job profile and you can just mention former so and so intern at so and so okay or you can just mention it like this as well that uh, currently you're working with this particular organization but previously you worked with this you worked with this you worked with this and this okay so it's completely on you how you use your headline for what sort of information are you delivering through your headline okay the next thing that comes okay when you go scroll through the profile you reach the summary section now this is the most important part of your profile okay this is where you're going to tell the most about yourself you're going to give a more personal um you know uh, it will be a personal uh, note about who gurleen pandu is or who simran came is okay it will be a more of a personal note now you want to give like an an elaborate glimpse into why you do what you do okay say for example you are uh, doing english honors so talk about why did you take up english honors aapne kyun liya english honors aapko aisa kya laga kya motivation tha behind taking english honors theek hai to wo aapke summary mein aa sakta hai theek hai this is an answer to how you can provide value to your network अभी कोई आपके प्रोफाइल पे जा रहा है आपकी प्रोफाइल uh, को स्क्रॉल कर रहा है वो कोई वैल्यू ही सर्चिंग फॉर सम सर्टेन वैल्यू कि कोई पॉइंट ऐसा होगा जहां पे हम कनेक्ट करेंगे या फिर इसके पास इसको ये इंफॉर्मेशन है जो मुझे नहीं है और मैं इसके साथ आई कैन हैव अ कॉन्वर्जेशन विद दिस पर्सन अबाउट दिस पर्टिकुलर यू नो स्किल एंड आई कैन ब्रश अप ऑन माइंड ठीक है यू आर प्रोवाइडिंग वैल्यू टू योर नेटवर्क ऑन लिंक इन रिमेंबर दिस ऑलवेज यूर प्रोवाइडिंग वैल्यू टू योर नेटवर्क ओके सो योर अबाउट सेक्शन योर समरी हैज टू बी एन आंसर अबाउट हाउ यू कैन प्रोवाइड योर प्रोवाइड वैल्यू टू योर पर्टिकुलर नेटवर्क इन कॉर्पोरेट मोर की वर्ड्स वाई शुड यू डू दैट बिकॉज जब कोई सर्च करता है जैसे अगर मैंने वेब डिजाइनर सर्च मारा लिंक इन के टैप पे तब मुझे बहुत सारी प्रोफाइल्स दिखेंगी ठीक है बट अगर आपने मेंशन ही नहीं किया कि आप वेब डिजाइनर हो तो आपकी प्रोफाइल दिखेगी ही नहीं ठीक है तो वैसे अगर आप से फॉर एग्जांपल यू आर लुकिंग फॉर जॉब अपॉर्चुनिटीज और आपने अपनी प्रोफाइल में कहीं पर मेंशन ही नहीं किया कि आपको वेब डिजाइनिंग पसंद है तो आप सर्च रिजल्ट्स में आओगे ही नहीं रिक्रूटर को पता ही नहीं चलेगा कि ओके चलो देर इज अ 
there's a person uh, gurleen pannu who is interested in web designing theek hai so make sure that you use in more keywords so that you are more visible in the search result to do that uh, don't do it ki theek hai keywords hi keywords dal diye aise bhi nahi karna you can probably add a bottom section which uh, which talks about my areas of expertise or interest include so and so so when you do that you can mention your uh, whatever skills that you want to mention you want to mention creative writing you want to mention you know editing documents whatever <coughs> sorry you can mention that under my areas of expertise or interest include theek hai now when you look at someone summary you don't see the whole paragraph okay you see the first few lines and uske baad aa jata hai uh, click to see more or read more theek hai but so you want to make sure ki jo aapne first few lines likhi hai that is trying to create some sort of impact on the person ki jab maine wo few lines padhi तो मुझे ऐसा फील होना चाहिए कि यस आई वांट टू रीड फर्दर ठीक है अगर आपने लिखा कि आई एम सो एन सो सो एन सो सो एन सो आई एम स्टार्टिंग हियर आई एम इंटरेस्टेड इन सो एन सो सो एन सो तब शायद मेरा मन नहीं करेगा कि आई गो थ्रू योर होल समरी बट व्हेन यू स्टार्ट ऑफ विद समथिंग दैट इज मोर इंपैक्टफुल व्हिच विल सी इन द एग्जांपल्स यू विल रियलाइज दैट यू नो पीपल विल वांट टू रीड दोस सॉर्ट्स ऑफ समरीज मोर राइट योर समरीज इन द फर्स्ट पर्सन आप खुद आपकी समरीज लिख रहे हो राइट सो यू डू नॉट वॉन्ट टू वॉन्ट टू मैंशन समाइक गुरलीन पन्नो इज करेंटली स्टार्टिंग इन सो एन सो यूनिवर्सिटी आपको वैसे नहीं लिखना यू नीड टू राइट इट इन फर्स्ट पर्सन की सी आई एम गुरलीन पन्नो आई स्टार्टी इन सो एन सो यूनिवर्सिटी एंड वैसे यू नीड टू गो फॉर विद दैट ओके डोंट राइट योर योर समरीज इन थर्ड पर्सन दिस इज अ वेरी कॉमन मिसकनसेप्शन दैट पीपल हैव मत करो write it in first person because you're the only person who's going to write your summary right theek hai aapne apna summary likh diya uske baad if you feel like you know i'm not too confident ki people are going to you know come back and look at my profile from the summary talk to your friends let them proofread it for you okay maybe they can suggest you because when you look at your summary people should uh, realize ki yes this is gurleen pannu this is who gurleen pannu is you have to be authentic right so your friends are your best judge they're going to tell you ki do they think of gurleen pannu when they look at your summary when they read through your summary is gurleen pannu the person who comes into their mind to agar yes if the answer to that is yes you've written an excellent summary okay so if you're not too confident find someone to proofread it for you now linkedin basically allows you to add in 2000 words in your summary 2000 words do you think anyone has that much time to you know go through complete 2000 words of your summary i don't think so i mean i don't i don't know about you all but i don't have to th- time to read 2000 words in a summary so make sure that you're not taking up you're not making your summary too text heavy you're writing a couple of lines and those particular lines itself are very impactful theek okay? hai Now here are a few summary examples. Really, uh, sorry to cut you. Mm-hmm. Uh, we have with us two of our mentors from AFH. I would just like to quickly introduce them to the audience. Sure. Uh, so uh, everyone, we have two of our mentors from AFH: Chitra Subramanian, ma'am, and Bhavna Isar, ma'am. Welcome, ma'am. I hope uh, this session is. interesting and uh, there is something to learn from for you all as well uh back to you bold lovely to meet you all it's so interesting hi i'm chitra and i'm learning so much um, you all are doing it so so wonderfully uh and there are so many things that uh, i'm getting to know uh, great it's such a great morning with you all thank you thank you so hi. much ma'am I echo what Chitra is saying. I'm here as a student. Thank you for the stuff you're doing. Good stuff, guys. Fantastic, fantastic. Thank you for joining us today. Back to you, Bully. All right. So since we were talking about summaries, now here's an example. Now this person says that I'm interested in software development. Uh, guys, I would like it if you guys don't annotate. uh okay awesome so okay now we're talking about summaries right this person initially mentions that that person is interested in software development so and so so and so so and so skills okay 
If I'm a recruiter, I'm going through the profile. I see the first line and I realize, okay, this person is in alignment with what I'm looking for. Okay. So this is how your uh, summaries need to be. You need to make an impact with the very first line, right? Then the person mentions that they love developing solutions to real world problems. And this is all how beautifully you can portray your ideas, right? The other thing that I would like to mention is don't write it a complete text, right? Include paragraphs, include spaces, include bullet points, right? If it's a full blob of text, people are most likely not going to be interested in reading it. But when I see that, okay, it's divided very properly, my paragraphs are very well divided, just like you write a letter, right? The very first paragraph of your letter is you defining your problem. Right? The very first paragraph is you defining your problem. The second paragraph is the solution. And the third paragraph is concluding remarks. Make sure that your summary is also well, very well designed and very well thought. You want to uh, convey some certain message from your first paragraph, your second, and your third. Okay, Make sure to include bullet points. Bullet points make it much more easier to read the summary. Otherwise, it's a lot of text. And it's very, very cluttered. Right? Bullet points help you decrease the clutter. Now, why I mentioned this summary is because when you go through the very end, the very last line of the summary says, please feel free to drop me a note on LinkedIn or reach out to me at so-and-so. Now, this is a CTA for me. I feel like, yeah, this person is interested in, uh, in uh, initiating a conversation. So yes. You know, I can text her about so-and-so and we can have a good conversation. So make sure that you are including something like this in your summary at the very end where you mention, ki, okay, you can connect with me and we can have conversations on so-and-so uh, skills. Okay. These are all examples that you can go through later whenever you get the uh, drive links. Just a second. Let me just remove this. Uh, Okay, so next let's talk about work experience, okay? The next thing that, you, uh, that comes in your profile is your work experience, which comes under the section background. Now, in your work experience, you wanna add in your work and your internship experiences, okay? And when you do so, when you add in your work and internship experiences, make sure that the particular company that you're selecting in your, uh, in your uh, section is the very uh, right one, okay? Because what happens is when people search for that particular company on, uh, on LinkedIn, say for example, I'm a, a, I lead ambassador programs at Aspire for Her and I've mentioned that in my work experience, right? So when people search for Aspire for Her and they go into the people's tab, they can see ki, okay, this person is associated with Aspire for Her. So maybe if they have any sorts of queries, they can approach me, they can come and talk to me, right? So make sure that you're selecting the right company, right? When you add in your work or internship experiences, you have an option which talks about description, okay? So in that description, make sure that you're mentioning what did you do in that particular position or what was your achievement? What were your duties, right? Make sure that you mention those because you will never know what sort of, uh, you know, what will initiate conversations for people. Maybe you were at a particular position and you achieved so-and-so, uh, you know, uh, you achieved something in, the, in that job. And maybe that is something people will connect with. And they'll write back to you saying, okay, hi, I saw your profile. And I feel like, you know, we are very uh, similar in terms of, you know, the kind of achievements we've had with this particular job profile. Okay, so everything that you put out on your LinkedIn profile should be a means of initiating conversations, okay? There's an option to upload media links. So say for example, you uh, got an achievement, you got a award and you want to, you know, let your LinkedIn community see that particular award, add it in your, add it in your media link. And if you worked with a team, for example, you worked with a very, uh, a team that you're very proud of, you know, and you had a lot of learning from that team, mention, uh, put in that particular picture as well, okay? So make sure that you're using this uh, particular option. Now, after you've added in your work experience, make sure that you're updating your headline, okay? 
So say for example, if it's still showing that I'm doing B.Tech in computer science engineering and I have a relatively better work experience, make sure that you know you're putting that particular uh, experience in your headline first, and then you're mentioning your uh, you know studies and all of your uh, university background. Okay, so make sure that you're updating your in uh, industry uh, you know uh, frequently, and uh, it's not looking too outdated. The next thing that you can do is add in managers or teammates. Now, this is this is something that a lot of people avoid on doing. A lot of people don't do, and you should rather do this. Okay. So now, I have Simran here. I have Girisha here. I have Palak here, and they are all my teammates that aspire for her. So what I've done is I've added all of them as my teammates. Okay. So. Make sure that you do that so your particular teammate also recognizes that, okay, yeah, I worked with this person. Because when you add someone as your teammates, they get a notification, right? So make sure that, you know, maybe you maybe you worked at a particular company, say, for example, two or three years back. And you remember, ki, okay, this was my particular teammate that I had worked with. And you lost contact with him. But you're connected on LinkedIn and you realize that, you know, okay, I should add in my teammates and you add that particular person as your teammate, that per a person's going to get a notification regarding it, right? So that is when that person might text you back and you might have a conversation, okay? So this is how you can even start up with the uh, conversations, right? You can add multiple positions you worked at in the same company. Say, for example, I started off with an, uh, with as, uh, with an ambassador position at AFH. Okay, so that is the first position that I had initially put up on my LinkedIn. Then, then I uh, got promoted to some other position. So now I can also add in that position at the very same company and it will come in a very nice and, uh, you know, uh, proper order according to the timeline, right? So your most recent position will be at the top and your most uh, oldest position will be at the bottom. Okay, so that's about work experience. Now, these are a few examples of how you can put your work experience. Now, this is a person who has worked at IBM for 23 years and they've had different positions. So, like I said, the position that you're working in currently, that will be your present position. It will be uh, visible at the very top. And those that have gotten older that you've left, uh, they will come at the bottom, right? And looking at a person who has done an internship, that person uh, did a data science internship at Discover Dollar. See, this is the company's logo, right? So this is where your company uh, company name and company page comes in handy, okay? So next that you see is that person's described what did they do in that internship. They've mentioned a few things. They implemented deep learning, NLP, so-and-so. And, -so, and they've added in a particular media link that is the particular certificate. The certificate that they got from that particular internship, this just basically helps validate the person who's going through your profile, ki, okay, this person has really done this, okay? So this is how you should put in your work experiences. Add a description, add the particular uh, company page, and add your relative timeline, okay? Now moving on to education. Uh, Guli, uh, sorry to cut you again. We have another mentor with us today. We have Rashmi Mathur, ma'am. Hello, ma'am. We welcome you to the session. Thank you for joining in today. I hope I was audible. Yes, we could hear you. All right, let's move on. Okay, so the next section under your background tab is your education. Now, this is where you'll enter all your universities, all your, all your schools, or any sorts of exchange programs that you've had. You'll add in all of these fields under the education tab in background. Now, like I said, choose the correct page of your university. Now, all your university pages have this option called alumni, okay? So when you go on that alumni section, that is where you can see, you know, people who were in your uh, particular school and maybe you can just go and you'll, uh, you know, recognize that, oh, I knew this person. So make sure that you're adding, uh, adding in the relevant pages so people can find you through the alumni page, uh, page of that particular uh, university. This may be use the description very, very properly. 
add in the relevant awards that you had, any scores that you received. Say, for example, in 12th standard, you got 95% Mention that. Okay, you were the state topper in uh, 12th standard in so-and-so subject, mention that. Okay, you held important positions. Say, for example, you were the captain of so-and-so. You were the uh, head of so-and-so uh, community. You know, mention all of that in your description. And update the headline with your current or last university's name. You don't want to put all your, uh, all your uh, uh, education universities and schools name, right? You don't want to put key, I studied, uh, I'm currently studying in this university. I've previously studied in this school and this school and this school. You don't want to do that. Mention your current or last university's name and then mention any of your work experience. Now, here's an example of how you can do it. You've mentioned your current uh, university. You've mentioned what are you pursuing in that uh, uh, current uh, in, uh, university and you've mentioned your score. So you have an 8.5 CGPA and you've mentioned what activities and societies you were, uh, you were a member of and you can add in any of your other achievements here. Same goes with your school, your uh, high school, your uh, primary schools, okay? The next thing is licenses and certifications. Now, if you've uh, enrolled in any of our courses or you know any courses on Coursera, anywhere, and you have certificates regarding that, you should put that in your licenses and certifications tab, okay? How it helps is you can add in the credential ID and links as well. So say, for example, you said that you're interested in machine learning and I'm, an, uh, I'm a recruiter and I saw that this person has also done courses in machine learning, that just validates it for me ki that uh, this person really is associated with machine learning and is not bluffing, right? So add in your credential IDs and links as well. So say for example, Coursera does provide you, you know, credential IDs and links. And uh, even if you go to our open PTEC badges, you will get those badges. You can put those links in your uh, credential ID and links and it'll show on your profile. And you can also share these achievements on your profile. So say for example, I've added in this uh, license, uh, this, uh, certification that I got about big data analytics. And I feel like people should know that I, uh, you know, got the certification. So I also have an option to share this on my profile when I add it in. Okay, so if you feel like this is something uh, your network should know, make sure that you share it on your profile. Now, the next thing that comes is accomplishments. Now, uh, this is where you can add in all your publications. Say, for example, you published a paper. So mention that in your publications, you hold patents to some sort of, you know, maybe you developed a certain uh, machine just ka aapko patent mila hai. So wo patents aap apne accomplishments mein dal sakte ho. Hai, koi awards aapko mile hai, jase honors and awards. This person has gotten so many awards. Not necessarily that you'll have so many awards, right? Make sure that you're mentioning those awards that are, you know, very relevant to your profile and what you want to get out of LinkedIn. Mention your uh, honors and awards, your projects, the languages that you're fluent with. Okay, so say, say for example, you're applying for a company, you're applying for an internship in a company that is in USA. So they want to, they should know, ki, you know, you know how to converse in English, right? So you can mention all those languages in your languages tab, okay? And you can add in your test scores, uh, test scores as well. Say you took IELTS or you took uh, SAT, GMAT, whatever. You can put in those test scores as well in your accomplishments. Now, the next thing is skills and endorsements. Now, a lot of people don't pay attention to this particular segment of the LinkedIn profile, but it is very important. You list down your particular skills. Say, for example, I like machine learning. I've written machine learning as a skill in my LinkedIn profile. So you list your respective skill. Don't shy away from adding in your skill. Don't feel like, okay, this skill might not be relevant to everyone, so let's not add it in. If you're confident enough ki ye skill bohut achi hai mere baare mein and I'm very good at it, please go ahead, uh, go ahead and add it in your LinkedIn profile. And request for endorsements, okay? So once you've added your skill in your profile, you can also request for endorsements. Endorsements are basically a way of, you know, a validation key. A person's just validating key, yeah, this person is really good at it. I have worked with this person and I know that this person is really good at this particular skill. So when you request for endorsements, also make sure that you give it back, right? 
it's a very uh, take and give kind of a relationship on LinkedIn. If you expect something from people, you also have to give it back. So, and that just helps, you know, uh, create a better connection, right? So if someone has endorsed you, go ahead and endorse a particular skill that, you know, you feel truly, honestly feel like is true about that person, endorse them in that particular skill. Now, there's also an option to take LinkedIn skill quizzes. Now, LinkedIn introduced this uh, the quiz uh, platform wherein you can, you know, you say, say I've uh, put machine learning as my skill. I can take a skill, uh, skill test on uh, machine learning and I'll get a particular, you know, rank. Okay. Say for example, I rank in the top 3% or, or top 5%, something like that. And to, you know, uh, make sure that your LinkedIn skill quizzes can be portrayed on your profile. It has to be, you need to get a minimum of, uh, you know, you need to be in the minimum 30% of the total population who are taking that skill. Uh, that skill. Um, so this is how your skills and endorsements uh, tab looks like. So say for example, machine learning, and this number that is uh, next to machine learning is the number of people who have endorsed this person for this particular skill, okay? So uh, so this is this just shows who all have endorsed that particular person and uh, you know how many people from the same uh, company have endorsed him. And this is how your LinkedIn skill assessment badge will look like. So say for example, this person took the skill test for machine learning. A person can just click on this particular um, link and they'll get to see ki uska rank kitna tha. whether that person was in the top 5%, top 1%. Unhe wo ye ke, click karke isse pata chal jayega. Thikke? And it's not necessary that you add in all of these kinds of uh, skills. If you're good at, you know, uh, professional speaking, uh, you're good at, you know, debating, you can add in those skills as well. And the next thing is recommendations. Again, this is another way of people, you know, uh, talking, other people talking more about you. So there's this concept of letter of recommendations in, in universities, right? So why does the other person, why does the other university ask for a letter of recommendations? Because they want to know that whoever is coming into their university is good enough for their uh, university, right? So they ask for a letter of recommendations. So similarly, you can ask for recommendations on your LinkedIn profile as well, okay? So it's a good way to validate your work ethics and skills. Say, for example, you worked with a certain company and that, party, uh, that particular company's manager, the manager who was, you know, uh, taking care of your uh, work, that person decided to send you a recommendation. That would make a very positive impact because it just shows that you did a good job and your manager is taking the time to, you know, come and give you a recommendation. That means that you are really good at what you do. Okay, you can also request a recommendation from your co-worker. Uh, till where could you hear, basically? Uh, you just missed like 10 seconds. Asha, okay. So um, when you, uh, so you can also request a recommendation from your own co-workers. So say for example, Pala, Girisha, Simran are my co-workers. I can also request for a recommendation from them. Okay. Uh, Ruchita ma'am, Madhura ma'am are my managers. They're the heads of the particular uh, company. So I can also request for a recommendation from those people. Okay. So this is how you can, you know, and make sure when you're asking for the recommendation, you should also mention why should they recommend you at the first place, right? Everyone is busy. Everyone is busy in today's time. So why should they recommend you? Make sure that you are adding those points. And you can also add in a few points that they can mention, right? It's it's more likely that people will, uh, you know, end up recommending you when they know ki unhe kya likhna chahiye. Okay, what are you expecting? Okay. And this is very important. You cannot request recommendations from just everyone. From your second, third degree, you cannot request recommendations from everyone. Uh, Simran is going to come to, you know, your first, second, uh, third degree connections. But... For recommendations, you can only request recommendations from your first degree connections, okay? You can give and take recommendations only from your first degree connections. So this is how recommendation looks like, okay? So this pers uh, this particular person has uh, recommended uh, Nikhil for so-and-so. Uh, you know, he worked uh, at, as an AI and ML intern at his company. So he has recommended him for that. He has said that Nikhil is good. Uh, he's a good team player. He's a good initiator, had, has good skills in, in AI and ML. Okay, so when this person here 
is a very uh, you know well known person who is very good at his field and people see ki okay this person has recommended him so that definitely means like this uh, th- that definitely means that nikhil definitely does have something in him ki the person is recommending him okay so make sure that you know uh, this is where you receive the recommendations and there also there's also you also give recommendations right so this is where the recommendations that you've given come okay now um i think that's most of my part um there's also a section called uh, featured let me just take you uh, through my linkedin profile so that i can explain this thing better all right can you all see my screen so i basically opened madhura ma'am's uh, profile here for you all to see so this is the featured section that is there okay this will come above your uh, this will come below your about section okay and your work experience session will come below this so in featured this is where you can add in say for example some particular post that you have created a post that you created that you feel like should be on your profile for other people to see okay so you can put that in your featured section and you've written some particular uh, articles okay and uh, there are few articles that have mentioned you so you can add in those particular relevant links as well in your featured section so anything you can also add in uh, an image okay so just like i said you got a particular award and you feel like you know that should be there on your featured section do that another important thing is if you are someone who is looking for a job you can also add in your resume in this section okay you can also add your resume in this section so that people can see quickly go through your resume and just understand who is um, who is goodlin who is simran okay so that is something that you can do and um, the last thing that you can also do is your interests okay these are the particular companies that you know you feel like you follow them right these are the companies you feel like will give you relevant information about your particular field of interest okay so these are the kind of uh, you know um, what what is present on your profile and the very last thing would be having a custom url okay now when initially when i create my account uh, this is not going to come okay this gurleen pannu in the search tab is not going to come okay it will be some random number that is generated by linkedin but when you put your linkedin uh, links in your particular resumes or you send it to someone you don't want to see the, you know you don't want them to see a random number here so what you do is you go and edit public profile and url and this is where you can you know edit your do uh, you can edit your custom url so i've set it to gurleen pannu and that is why it shows gurleen pannu in the search tab so you can put in your name here you can uh, it is quite likely that you know there are a lot of uh, um a lot of aparnas a lot of ananyas so maybe you will not get your uh, uh, the kind of url that you want so you can add in a few numbers after that okay so make sure that you do this thing this is very important when you put in your resumes or you share your linkedin profile because you don't want anyone to see a random number okay so um i think this will be most of it all and uh, simran will take it from here thank you gurleen um so i hope you guys have understood how to create a profile i know there's a lot of information that is coming around just deal with it and we've mentioned important for every single thing that's how important your linkedin profile is the next important thing that we're going to talk about is networking okay so networking is basically connecting with people you can connect with people on linkedin from various domains various industries make sure you have a 100 person completed profile when you're creating a profile you will have a 10 person 20 person so every step you do as gurleen mentioned a profile picture a background and background banner the headline or the industry the job experiences the recommendation feature as soon when you add one uh one again and again so you know 
it will keep increasing from 10% to 15%. So make sure it's 100% completed profile. It is very important for you to have more opportunities. The LinkedIn algorithm works in that way. If it's not completed, it will not show. Your profile will not show anyone if it's not completed. So what is the benefit of making it? Make it good so that people can see you and connect with you. The second thing is get personal. So I'm quickly going to... Example, if any program I'm requesting, make sure you add a little note so that she knows where are you coming from. Why are you sending a request? Because people will send it. Simran, I think we are facing some network issue from your end. Okay, I think Simjan is facing some internet issues. Uh, till then, I think if you all have any doubts for Gurleen, she can take them up right now. We'll just wait for Simjan to um, I get back. Okay, thank you. Yeah, so getting back to get personal, just add a message and then put on send because uh, that sort of gives a personalized touch and people know where you're coming from. Join the in crowd. So in crowd is basically groups. Uh, for example, Aspire for Her has a group. So make sure you, uh, you know, join groups so that people see your profile. They know what are you doing. So if you are into marketing, for example, there are a bunch of groups that are different domains of marketing. So there could be like entrepreneurship or digital marketing or probably uh, SMM. So make sure, you know, see where you want to go. If you know where you want to be in the next five years, make sure you can join such groups to be active and connect with more people on that, uh, in that industry. The fourth point would be update your profile early and often. As Gulleen mentioned earlier, keep updating your profile. If your, uh, you know, your uh, designation is changing or you're doing any certification, it could be anything small, big, anything. Just make sure you keep on posting as you post on the rest of the social media. It's as important for people to know how you're, uh, you know, improving yourself. You're working on yourself every day. If you don't tell people what you're doing and are you pros to grow as a person in your professional field, they wouldn't know what you're doing. And in the normal resume that we send to companies, how much you can add in it. You can't add all these things. So LinkedIn is the perfect space and platform to add all these little, little things. So you know, whenever you send a resume to any company for a job posting, You'll always add, make sure you always add your uh, LinkedIn link. As Gulleen taught you guys the URL, make sure you write, uh, put your URL as LinkedIn profile slash the link so that people know the, the recruiters. As you also saw, 90% of the recruiters use LinkedIn. The first thing they'll do is before reading your, prof, uh, before reading your resume, they will go to your LinkedIn and then come back to your resume and read it. That's how it's being done in this digital age. So it's really important to do that. Our fifth point is lend a virtual hand. So lend a virtual hand could be anything to sort of put your posts, put your profile up. The algorithm works like this. Ki, if you post it, you will not profile. If you complete it, you will not see it. If you post it, you will not see it. If 
पोस्ट में कमेंट नहीं कर रहे हो किसी को एंडोर्स नहीं कर रहे हो किसी को रेकमेंड नहीं कर रहे हो वो दिखेगा ही नहीं तो फिर आप कैसे नेटवर्क करोगे सो इट्स अ मेजर मेजर पॉइंट दैट यू नीड टू डू सो मैं गिव यू एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ गिरिशा सो शी हैज पुट दिस पोस्ट रीपोस्टेड मधुरा मैम पोस्ट एंड यू नो यू कैन सी हाउ मेनी कमेंट्स एंड लाइक्स कम For example, this one. She's wrote about the upskilling workshops that we have been conducted. Okay, this is something that we can't add on our resume. So she's done this perfectly. She's got sixty-four likes, thirty-two comments. I'm sure a lot of people have seen it, and they've got to know and probably joined us or done certain things about it. So make sure you lend a virtual hand if you see a friend is. doing that effort to post a uh, you know a post or a listicle or anything of that sort make sure you comment like or like you know you uh, if you go to linkedin there'll be so many uh, job postings where people write as hiring this hiring that you know make sure if you don't fit that profile aap apne friend ka naam likh do jo wo pro, uh, designation mein फिट होता है सो फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ आई सी समथिंग अबाउट कोडिंग आई विल मेक श्योर दैट आई टैग बिल्डिंग सो दैट इफ यू नो इट्स इजियर फॉर हर टू नेटवर्क विद पीपल इज वेल सो यू नो इट्स अ टू वे थिंग इट बूस्ट हर प्रोफाइल ऑल्सो इट बूस्ट माई प्रोफाइल ऑल्सो सो या सॉरी नेटवर्किंग में how you see followers and following on other social medias for your it's called connection so there are three degree of connections so one is the first degree second degree and third degree the first degree people are the directly connected because they have accepted your invitation okay agar aap kisi ko bhi suppose today you send bunch of invitations to ask from a spy for her if we accept it we'll become your first degree connection but suppose if you have added me and you've not added gurleen you it will show as second degree because you've connected to gurleen and i am her connection so it will follow that path and show my name as second degree to aise hota hai jaise agar aap dusre social media pe jaate ho aapko dikhta hai kaun kisko follow kar raha hai it's the same thing but in a more professional way the third degree would be who is connected to your second degree so agar aap gurleen ko add kar rahe ho fir mera naam aayega fir aap mere ko mera profile agar check kar rahe ho mere friends ya mere coworkers aapko third degree pe dikhai dege so make sure when you are you know seeing make sure when you see this third first you will know ki kis uh, path se kahan se aapka kaun sa connection nikal raha hai make sure you communicate effectively on linkedin uh so networking mein communication is obviously important so make sure be authentic whatever you're doing communicate on linkedin the same way you do in any professional interaction just think of it abhi to hum bahar ja nahi sakte to tum agar socho ki tumhe agar is insaan se milna hai suppose you met madhura ma'am in person what would you tell her just message her that so you know it is be authentic you will make sure you portray yourself how would you meet them offline and online the same way on linkedin because it's the same now to abhi hum ja hi nahi sakte to fir linkedin ka best use abhi kar sakte hain second would be customize your connection request this i've already shown you guys how you can personalize your messages and sort of send a, send a note so for example if i attend any webinar a free webinar that you know there are so many webinars and i see the speaker is really good he works at so and so company or me ko bahut pasand hai uska kaam probably i want to get connected i'll write a personal note hey really like uh, i really like the session you conducted so i would really like to be connected further um, and talk to you about something or anything but make sure you write it in a professional manner in proper uh, grammatic 
full english and um, i think you will be good to go the third b would be be res- uh, responsive so responsive mein if agar aapko koi bhi message aata hai people have messaged me randomly saying ki i've seen you work as a social media strategist as at aspire for her would you like to be working with our company can you freelance with us i've got so many messages like that because i've been keep on updating my status updating my profile updating my posts i keep on sharing posts so you know if you be regular even if for like 2 3 months you'll see that people are seeing your profile as they as they dheere dheere wo dikhega there's no way that if you follow all of these things that i'm talking about right now that your profile would not be seen so it would be research before reaching out of course if you know if you would want to uh, connect with a person uh, people always say you know quantity uh, quality over quantity so ऐसे भी नहीं किसी को भी भेज दिया रिक्वेस्ट देख देख के करो फिर आपका प्रोफाइल भी वैसे ही भर जाएगा तो उतना भी नहीं भराना है इम्पॉर्टेंट क्वालिटी पीपल यू कैन एड हु यू रियली वॉन्ट टू कनेक्ट टू एंड ऑल्सो आई वुड सजेस्ट आप अपने टीम uh, मेट्स डाल रहे हो आप अपने फ्रेंड्स को डाल रहे हो अपने कोवर्कर्स को डाल रहे हो यू फॉलोइंग पीपल इन द इंडस्ट्री दैट यू वॉन्ट टू बी इन फॉलोइंग पीपल इन डिफरेंट इंडस्ट्रीज दैट यू यू नो are inspired by right so there's so many domains your profile make sure you also follow people from different age groups don't only follow people from your own age group because that way you will never grow you will never see good or quantity or experience quantity uh, you know experience things i i'm sure if like you know if you have a mentor we have so many mentors on aspire for we follow them we see their posts what are they doing on a daily basis we come to know so many things so many new things that we have never heard of it's really like good to see all of that and you know it's basically going and you know uh, talking about all of these things so also research before reaching out if you know you want to uh, reach out to a person you should know which company does he work in or she work in uh, what post uh, are they at or certain things okay you will just go through the profile first sorry yeah so be targeted and personalized uh, it is basically the personal message thing that i have discussed before be careful with introductions so if you talking to somebody on message you uh, they've accepted your request you're talking further make sure you know you're confident and uh, if you can't take up the job you can recommend somebody else in your connections or uh, you know just politely refuse hey this is the reason i won't be able to take it just don't ignore that message it, it is very unprofessional to do that so agar koi bhi aapko message karta hai ki you know i like your profile i would want to connect for the would you be, would you like to work at our company and once you know you fully complete your profile post you will get messages like that i'm not kidding you will all of us here who have proper updated linkedin profiles will vouch for it so agar aapko messages aate hai aise aapko nahi kaam karna hai politely refuse or just recommend your friend keep it short and sweet don't put in too much information in the first time because फिर वो पढ़ेंगे नहीं इतना टाइम किसी के पास है नहीं उन लोग बस स्क्रोल करने आते हैं और फिर यू नो इफ दे सी सम शॉर्ट मैसेज दे माई टॉक टू यू बट इफ यू हैव अ लॉन्ग एस लॉन्ग मैसेज तो फिर दे प्रॉब्ली स्किप इट प्रूफ रीड प्रूफ रीड वुड बी यू कैन ऑल्सो एड ग्रामरली टू योर क्रोम एज एन एक्सटेंशन सो इफ यू नॉट श्योर अबाउट द ग्रामर दैट यू यूजिंग ग्रामरली विल हेल्प यू इन चेकिंग योर english uh give more than you take so balance your needs on linkedin with those of your connections if you are updating your own status and asking for connections try commenting and uh, uh helping other people like i've already uh, said before right and always say thank you be as polite as uh nice to them a thank you message would be a very simple small thing that you can do Okay, so 
how to network. So these are some of the things that you can use to network it could be connections, teammates, contacts, people I follow, groups, events, pages, newsletters, hashtag. So I'm gonna quickly show you ki ye kidar aata hai. If you see, there's this option called My Network here. If you click on My Network, those options that I showed you guys, on your left hand side, right? So just open your profile once you complete updating it. Go to My Network. So I have 940 connections. Yeah, teammates you can add contacts this is something that i've uh, transferred from my phone plus my connections okay people i follow could be people who have not accepted my request but i can follow them so ceos or founders or entrepreneurs that you really aspire, get inspired by sab aapka request aise accept hi karna to tum unko follow kar sakte ho to unka jo bhi updates hoga fir bhi mil sakta hai aapko Without them accepting your request, आपको उनका अपडेट्स मिलते रहेगा Groups, like I said, join groups. It's really important to join groups. We have a Aspire for Her group. I'll put down the link in the chat box at the end of the session. So if you guys want to join our group, you can do that. Events could be anything that comes under uh, the people you follow. So if under the people you follow or your contacts or your connections here. अगर कोई इवेंट करे वो आएगा फॉर एग्जाम्पल अगर एस्पायर फो को फॉलो करते हो आई एम श्योर फॉलो करना चाहिए गो एंड जस्ट फॉलो राइट नाउ गो इफ वी डू एन इवेंट यू विल बी अपडेटेड यू विल गेट अ नोटिफिकेशन आई विल कम ऑन टू योर पेज इफ यू फॉरगेट कि कब था किधर था यू कैन क्विकली गो टू दस एंड गो एंड चेक इट पेजेस वुड बी कंपनी पेजेस ठीक है so there are or aspire for her is a page because it's an organization so there's so many pages like this of organization could be any organization that you like they don't create profiles they create organization pages or company profile pages theek hai newsletters is bahut sare newsletters hai uh, linkedin mein aap usko of different domains aap usko follow kar sakte ho or you can keep a track hashtag so hashtag so you can follow hashtags i will quickly show you so there's a hashtag called hiring that i follow okay to so, main agar udhar jaati hu hiring hashtag mein jo latest posts hai hiring mein wo sare dikhte hain mere ko my internet is a little slow so until it floats i will quickly say you can follow hashtags like hiring vacancy or any hashtags that you think are keywords in your profile or in your uh, domain that you're pursuing so see i follow hiring so many people follow hiring okay so you will see every post that has used hiring in the hashtag that's the whole point of using hashtags because you can go there and find okay so i you can go and uh, follow hashtags um yeah okay there are two types of networking that can be social networking and business networking so social networking is finding your friends classmates colleagues and to add to basically add them to your network you can also uh, apne contacts to phone pe usko import karke aap unko bhi add kar sakte ho so
social networking also includes updates on their activity and to stay in touch with your friends or classmates and colleagues you can share articles and comments and knowledge with your network this is as important as i've kept on like pestering you guys about it just go read articles share articles comment on it and as i mentioned follow hashtag to get updates on topics that you are interested in so business networking is following companies influencers and topics you are interested in reach out to con- uh, reach out to connections at companies you are interested in for referrals and advice so for example if you like a company okay so i'm going to give you a quick example so um this company called white rivers media i really want to work here but i'm not being able to you know ki resume kitni baar bhej diya koi reply nahi aaya i have found their hr's uh name from here so if you go to just search here white rivers media you will get their page i have followed them so that i can keep getting updates you know so here on people i can search for who are these people who work at uh vitable that's why it's so important to keep updating your profile to aapko dikhega nahi agar aap koi aspire for pe ja rahe agar maine update nahi kiya kisko pata hi nahi chalega ki main udhar kaam karti hu right so you can go to the uh, people and you can see and see i can see senior human resources manager i can quickly send a personal message to her and just you know just try my luck probably she will connect or she will reply back and i have done this before or out of 10 people three four people have replied so um there are high chances that it can happen so you can try that as well if you go to jobs so currently they have all these jobs openings right so agar meko brand strategies ke liye apply karna hai theek hai par meko pata nahi main you can see there are, it was posted one month ago and it has over 200 applicants right i'm not sure agar it's still if they found someone or not if i don't know if i am ready yet to apply or anything you can still say uh, or else you can apply the apply a uh, procedure can take you to a third party a- uh, application also if they are uh, tied up with linkedin you can you will get a quick pop up box jisme aapko aapka resume upload karna hai aur usme do teen questions hoge ki how much time can you give or uh, you know how much experience you have anything any few questions that the brand has uh, or the company has put there to so, aapko pop up box mein questions dikhenge aur resume upload karne ka option aayega so it's like two clicks away your resume is obviously ready right apply pe click karo resume upload karo bahut sare companies to questions bhi nahi puchte bahut kam companies dekha hai maine jo questions puchte hai so this is also one way that you can network okay um learn about what's happening in your industry with curated content so like as bahut bar bol diya hai hashtags follow your pages um and all of that so you can try out that so add value to your network that's very 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 important i know we've said important so many times but if you don't add value to your network people won't uh, help you back you have to he- lend a virtual hand to all of the uh, connections that you have so you can share articles with your linkedin community write your own posts and share with them news and updates from your uh, network can drive or come into your news feed right job search so job search is the main reason people download linkedin uh so you can search and apply to millions of openings you can upload and uh, easily submit your resume to uh, job that fit save searches and create alerts to be the first to know about new openings so i have just showed you just a white white rivers media ka jo tha theek hai i've showed you how to save it i will quickly uh right now there's no option here uh but i'll quickly go 
and show you how to put on that update wala option see um uh, first thing i would want to share with you guys is jaise maine aapko dikhaya idhar ye aapka home page hai jahan pe aapka normal dashboard aata hai home page right ye aapka network hai jo maine dikhaya hai jisme सारे नेटवर्किंग के ऑप्शंस uh, है कि कैसे कैसे नेटवर्क कर सकते हैं वेन यू गो टू जॉब दिस इज वॉट ओपन आई हैव सेव माई जॉब सो इट कम्स योर देर आर अलर्ट्स तो जॉब अलर्ट्स में मैंने ये सब डाला है ये सब दो साल पहले डाला था वेन आई वॉज वर्किंग एज एन इंटर्न अभी नहीं डाला है देन यू के स्किल असेसमेंट्स लाइक वी हैव ऑलरेडी सेट वाइल सेटिंग अप योर अकाउंट अगर आपको आपके पास ज़्यादा है वर्क एक्सपीरियंस नहीं है या वर्क एक्सपीरियंस है ही नहीं क्या डालोगे आप तो फिर तब आप स्किल असेसमेंट्स डाल सकते हो इफ़ यू थिंक योर गुड एट फोटोशॉप और योर गुड एट कोडिंग और योर गुड एट नॉर्मल क्रिएटिव डिज़ाइन और एनी थिंग दो स्किल असेसमेंट्स में जाओगे तो आपको असेसमेंट्स हो गए की तरफ से और आप जाके उधर असेसमेंट ले सकते हो इफ़ यू स्कोर अबाव सिक्सटी टू सिक्सटी फाइव परसेंट यू गेट द badge or else you won't then you can apply after one week okay so job alerts mein main aapko dikhati hu aise maine kiya hai par main isko edit kar sakti hu main edit karne ke baad theek hai main daily weekly or i can delete it so these are the things you can customize for your profile you can always customize these things because it will only help you to sort of look for jobs and आपको पता चलेगा क्या होगा और अभी भी तो आप देखोगे कि मेरा हर की वर्ड पे अलग अलग पोस्टिंग दिखा रहा है इधर देखो डिजाइन इंटर दिखा रहा है रेकमेंडेड भी दिखा रहा है तो अगर मैंने सपोज की वर्ड भूल गया या मैंने डाला नहीं मैंने अपडेट नहीं किया है नाउ आई हैव ऑल दीज रेकमेंडेशन फ्रॉम लिंक इन इट्सल्फ so that's how the algorithm works if you know if i follow book my show i follow foxy moran all these companies that are coming here main sabko follow karti hu isliye wo aa rahe hai idhar theek hai so this is how you can search for jobs uh, like the overview abhi main aapko dikhaungi a simple way to search for jobs so we have filter search okay फिल्टर सर्च में यू कैन सर्च फॉर जॉब्स यू कैन सर्च फॉर पीपल यू कैन सर्च फॉर कंपनीज कोर्स ग्रुप्स स्कूल्स इवेंट्स एंड कोर्सेज ठीक है तो फर्स्ट थिंग आई विल शो यू इज जॉब ठीक है तो जॉब्स में आता है डेट पोस्टेड एक्सपीरियंस लेवल कंपनी जॉब टाइप रिमोट एंड इजी अप्लाई ठीक है मैं आपको फिर से आई टेक यू थ्रू द लिंक इन डैशबोर्ड एंड शो यू सपोज इफ आई एम सर्चिंग ओके इधर मेरे को पीपल आ रहा है कंपनीज आ रहा है पोस्ट आ रहा है जॉब्स आ रहा है तो फॉर एग्जांपल इफ आई गो टू जॉब्स ये सब आएगा दीज आर ऑल द जॉब लिस्टिंग दैट एफएच हैज पोस्टेड राइट नाउ ठीक है पर इसको मैं और भी फिल्टर कर सकती हूँ बाय सॉर्ट बाय डेट पोस्टेड एक्सपीरियंस लेवल में ये सब आता है कंपनी में ये सब आता है जॉब टाइप आता है रिमोट आता है लोकेशन आता है so for exam this is just an example you can go to any company that you aspire to uh, work at and you know put these filters it's very easy so if you guys want me i can do this quick fun activity tell me one or two any anyone can you know put on the chat box one company they aspire to work at me i'll show you how to filter search anyone can कमेंट एनी कंपनी आपको जिधर कभी काम करना है अभी नहीं तो टू इयर्स लेटर थ्री इयर्स लेटर गूग माइक्रोसॉफ्ट ओके
here so as soon as you put microsoft you have so many things right okay i didn't see kisne bola to uh whoever said microsoft if you can choose your experience level so uh, can you tell me what experience level at, are you at i don't have in, any experience okay so then you will choose internship right yes yeah. yeah then you can internship may you can choose full time or part time i would and then you can choose your location as well so if, for the example if you are from mumbai you can choose that or now you also get an option of remote working which is not coming here but idhar hai इधर है रिमोट तो इसमें भी डाल सकोगे अगर इधर रिमोट पे डालोगे तो अभी इधर नो जॉब्स काउंट बट आई मीन नाउ एवरी वन वर्किंग रिमोटली तो एनी जॉब पोस्ट विल बी लाइक दैट सो व्हेन आई फिल्टर ओके सो आई एम गोना रिमूव रिमोट ओके तो अभी ऑल आर दीज सॉरी showing no internship i think that's why chalo agar associate dal de internship is hard to get on linkedin you have to sort of if you looking for internship text the hr or uh, you know follow them or anything if you think you can do it then you can go for it i know i think they don't have any jobs here so um so i let that be but did you guys understand how to search for jobs and how to use filters i mean mere ko nahi pata ki aap kaisa tarike ka job dhoond rahe ho to for me to put these filters are a little like difficult but if you know what you want you can quickly search for it and uh, that's how you go about it now jobs mein agar aap yahan jaoge you can go to people तो मैंने यहाँ माइक्रोसॉफ्ट डाला और मैंने पीपल चूज किया तो इधर सारे लोग जो माइक्रोसॉफ्ट में काम करते हैं सारे आ गए हैं अभी आप किसी से भी कनेक्ट कर सकते हो ठीक है टू बी लिल एक्स्ट्रा यू कैन एड अ पर्सनल नोट सो प्रॉब्ली दे एक्सेप्टेड कनेक्शंस में आप फर्स्ट सेकंड थर्ड से डिग्री से आप वो कर सकते हो सो फॉर मी these people are coming into second so that means i have a mutual friend with them right so i can choose second and i can see people i can choose locations for example microsoft is a huge company so india dal sakte hai abhi sab aa gaya mumbai delhi bangalore sab aa gaya right i hope filter search for jobs Uh, clear. People is clear. Uh, for company is clear. So, अभी मैं अगर companies में जाओगे, तो company में Microsoft में भी इतने सारे domains हैं. You have Microsoft Dynamics, you have Microsoft Cloud, uh, Microsoft 365, Microsoft Security. अगर मैं कुछ You know, you can also write a keyword. जैसे मैंने marketing लिखा, ठीक है? और मैं mark companies डाल दिया. So I'll get all the companies. For example, if you're starting out, you don't know where you want to work. This is how you can research and probably find your uh, the company you want to work at. अभी इसमें मैंने marketing लिखा है, मैंने companies filter किया. फिर मैं इसमें इंडिया यू कैन सेलेक्ट देन यू आई सी ऑल दीज ऑप्शन राइट आई कैन फॉलो दैम एंड आई कैन कीप अपडेट ऑफ द कंपनी 
यू कैन ऑल्सो घर वेन यू कम इसमें भी आप मार्केटिंग एंड एडवर्टाइजिंग डाल के इंडस्ट्री में भी चूज कर सकते हो कंपनी साइज भी चूज कर सकते हो कितने एम्प्लॉयज है तो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू वर्क एट अ स्टार्ट अप और इफ यू वॉन्ट टू वर्क इन अ बिग कंपनी मीन सिलेक्ट सो इफ एग्जाम्पल आई वॉन्ट टू वर्क एट अ स्टार्ट अप वन टू टेन सिलेक्ट किया मैंने दीज आर द कंपनीज दट कम हेयर राइट तो कंपनीज में आप लोकेशन इंडस्ट्री और कंपनी साइज से फिल्टर करके आप अपना रिसर्च कर सकते हो फिर एवरी वन इज कॉन बी डिफरेंट ओके आई एम जस्ट शोइंग यू द हाउ द ए आई लुक्स लाइक और आप क्या क्या पॉसिबिलिटीज है कैसे इफेक्टिवली आप इस प्लेटफॉर्म को यूज कर सकते हो अपने लिए अपने प्रोफेशन के लिए राइट आप पोस्ट भी देख सकते हो फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ यू सो अ पोस्ट ठीक है आपने लाइक नहीं किया या आपने कमेंट नहीं किया तो खो गया आपको ढूंढना है राइट मेरे को जैसे बहुत टाइम ऐसा होता है कि आई सी समथिंग एंड आई एम लाइक किधर गया हो आई नीड टू शो टू अ फ्रेंड और एनी थिंग ठीक है तो आई एल ओनली राइट अ स्पार फॉर हो नाउ इफ यू राइट सी फॉर एग्जाम्पल एस अ स्पार फॉर हर आया इधर ठीक है इधर पीपल हैव कम द कंपनी हैज कम द जॉब्स हैव कम द पोस्ट हैव कम राइट मोर पीपल सो बस वो आपका एक की वर्ड लिखने की दे रही है और आप सब ढूंढ सकते हो तो यहाँ मैं पोस्ट में जाती हूँ द रिसेंट पोस्ट कम ठीक है यू कैन गो चेक इट आउट फॉर ऑल द कंपनी पेजेस ओके यू कैन दिस इज हाउ यू कैन सर्च ठीक है पोस्ट के लिए यू कैन ऑल्सो सी हु इज इट पोस्टेड बाय द डेट दस पोस्टेड अगर मेरे शिप कल कल देखा था मैंने किधर गया तो आप वो देख सकते हो ठीक है ऑल्सो यू कैन ऑल्सो सर्च फॉर ग्रुप स्कूल इवेंट्स कोर्सेस ठीक है आई विल शो यू अभी इसमें ग्रुप अस्पैफ हो डाला ग्रुप्स डाला इधर आ गया ग्रुप प्लीज गो ज्वाइन टूडे you can come join our group or you can also see as i mentioned different domains ka hota hai society for corporate chiefs of staff then you have teacher training i'll all these are but for groups you don't have uh, filters for all these things that i've mentioned here on filter search groups schools events and courses you don't have uh, filters but At least to search it, I say, ja ja ke keywords se you can quickly put this and you can search for it. Schools me there are no filters, but if I want to select search for Let's see if you are called uh, school from. There's no results found, but. I think you can find that events I had shown you. So events भी मैं दिखा देती हूँ. उसमें भी अभी there no events. Then we have courses. So courses में जब हम जाते हैं, ठीक है? You can put any keyword. ठीक है? तो अगर मेरे को सोशल मीडिया मार्केटिंग डालना है तो लिंकड इन विल गिव ऑल ऑफ इट्स कोर्सेज दैट इट हैज ठीक है दर समथिंग फॉर लिंकड इन लर्निंग विच गुलडीन इज कॉन टॉक अबाउट सो दीज आर द कोर्सेज सो यू कैन पुट योर की बर्ड्स देर एंड यू कैन फाइंड इट कुड भी एनी थिंग देर आर सो मेनी कोर्सेज 
input anything so she's gonna explain that also um one of you guys can also tell me ki uh, aapko kaisa job karna hai so i can probably help you guys in finding something right now so it's because it's more like a workshop i want you guys to interact so agar aap mere ko bologe abhi could be something you want to search you can put it in the chat box as a content writer राइटर यू विल और आपके पास इधर ही ऑप्शन आ जाएगा कंटेंट राइटर इन जॉब कंटेंट राइटर इन पीपल इन ग्रुप सो यू कैन चूज आई चूज जॉब्स तो आपका ये आ गया सारे लिस्ट आ गए आपके इधर पे जॉब डिस्क्रिप्शन आ गया सब आ गया यू कैन गो चेक इट आउट और फिल्टर करना है फिल्टर कर सकते हो जैसे हमने बताया आपको तो Did you get it? Content writer किसने बोला था मैंने देखा नहीं sorry. नहीं बताएंगे. Okay. Awesome. So yeah, this is uh, I think that's enough of uh, information to for today for networking and uh, job search. I think really need to thank you. Okay, the very last thing that we're going to talk about is LinkedIn Learning. I will not take a lot of your time. So this is uh, where you basically is my screen visible to all? Yes, it is. Okay, so when you go to the home page of your LinkedIn feed, there's something called Work. Now, when you click here, you'll find all these options, and this is what is LinkedIn Learning's option. Okay, so when you click on this. you'll find that there are a lot of courses so say for example if you're interested in coding if you're interested in python so those are the kind of courses that will show up so you can search for any particular course that you want to look for so see say for example leadership and management and they have 846 courses or so for this particular field so this is how you can go for courses but uh, the only thing is linkedin courses are paid after free uh, the first free month like you can start your first free month but after that it's a paid option so uh, just in case this is not what you're looking for you can always go to other platforms uh, another thing is for me linkedin learning majorly happens here this this is my linkedin learning tab for me okay so this is where i can see linkedin ke news kya kya news hai what is there in the news today okay so all the uh, aspirants here who are just looking at you know brushing up their uh, who don't get a lot of time to you know listen to news read newspapers this is just a very short way of just brushing up like what is happening currently look at all these linkedin news is you can select a particular uh, uh news and you'll get information regarding it the next uh, this part which talks about what courses are trending so this is just an idea of what are people usually looking at okay the another thing that i wanted to mention is linkedin blogs now linkedin has their uh, has its own blogs that you know talk about a lot of uh, topics so you can always go to uh, just go to your search tab add in linkedin blogs and you'll see so many different kinds of blogs that they've put up on their website okay so if you're looking at some sort of information you can always go to linkedin's official blogs website and you can go through it so uh this is majorly what i want to talk about linkedin learning um obviously the courses are going to be paid so if it's not something for you you can definitely check out our courses as well we have a lot of free courses on our website So, if you want to just do any courses, you can definitely go on our website and make sure that you're using your news feed properly and you're seeing all the LinkedIn news that are there on the right side of your uh, feed. Okay, so if you're interested in UPSC or just any sorts of uh, exams that are going to involve current affairs, 
you can definitely look at the LinkedIn news. So I think that will be all from our side. If you have any questions at all, you can just put them in the chat box or you can unmute and ask. So um, if we don't have any questions, uh, we have one little activity for you all. Uh, this is very, this is fairly, very, very simple. Um, you just have to make a post. Uh, let me just share my screen so you all can see it properly. So uh, you need to make a post, okay? A LinkedIn post about this particular workshop that we had today. Okay, or any other previous workshop that you had uh, of the upskilling, work, uh, up, uh, upskilling workshop, uh, uh, session. So if you feel like, you know, you felt like the Canva workshop was the best workshop for you and you had a lot to learn, make a post about it and uh, share it with us, share the links with us. So we know that you've made the post, uh, post, tag the right people, tag Aspire for her so we know. And you can tag us as well so that we get to know that you've made the post and use the following hashtags. You can use hashtag Aspire for her hashtag regional activ activation vertical and hashtag, uh, hashtag professional upskilling workshop. So this is an activity for you all. Uh, Palak, do, uh, do we want them to do it right now? Or they can share the links later on with us? Yes, yes, they can surely share the links later on. So no. guys, do you all have any doubt? You all can post your doubt in the chat box and Gurleen and Simran can address them. It's a fairly very, very simple uh, website, right? LinkedIn is very simple to understand. So even when you go across LinkedIn and you just look around, you'll get to know the, uh, you'll understand how to go about it. Just keep the pointers that we mentioned in your mind and you're good to go. Also, okay, so I'm sorry. Sorry. Yeah, I was saying you will obviously have questions after you try it out, after you make the profile. Currently, you're like filled with information. So it's fine if you want to reach out to us, me or Gulleen, you can always connect with us on LinkedIn and uh, ask any doubts. Uh, when you actually make the profile, you will have. So you can always connect with us. Ma'am? Excuse me, ma'am. Yes. Yes, ma'am. Uh, ma'am, if uh, we uh, do not have any work experience, is there any problem regarding it? No, there's no problem for that. You can, uh, you know, if there's no experience, try volunteering somewhere or uh, probably, you know, do that skill endorsements or uh, you can do skill assessments. So that something at least comes to your profile. And obviously, when you're starting out, you will not apply for jobs. You will apply for internships. So for internships, instead of going to job page and applying directly for jobs, I will suggest you that you update your profile. Suppose if you want to, do, what do you want to do? What industry are you working for? Ma'am, uh, literally, I want something... Uh that I could uh, write or the content or uh, creative works. So you can probably, you know, post some of your work online and put it on the feature tab. You know, people or companies or recruiters, if they're seeing your profile, it's okay if you don't have work experience, but if your work uh, you upload, they'll be able to have a glimpse of it. You can also tag your uh, website or portfolio ka link on your bio. So that will also help. And you know what, Suhani? Uh, we also provide ambassador programs, right? So Astha is a part of the ambassador program. We have Aparna who is a part of it. So all we provide all of these opportunities in the ambassador program as well. So if you feel like you know you don't have a learning experience and you want one, a work experience, you can definitely apply for the ambassador program. You'll have a lot to learn there. Okay, ma'am. Thank you. 
thank you so much gurlina and samran i'm very sure everyone has learned a lot through this session and i'm very sure everyone will complete their activity so guys whenever you complete your activity do send the links to the cr they can circulate that to us also please make a note that the feedback form will be circulated in the chat box so make sure to fill it to receive your certificates now i would like to extend our thanks to nandini ma'am the economics head of department and the coordinator of placement cell at jd women's college who has been extremely supportive and enthusiastic throughout the workshop series i would request her to share a few words Until then, if you guys can quickly turn on your cam, so we can have a clicker picture. This is our last workshop, and uh, if you guys can do that, it's one by one. Okay, okay, everyone. Am I audible, visible? Yes, yes, ma'am. Okay, sorry, it's been a little delayed, not too well. But this, whatever I could part of, was a wonderful session again. And if I may say, this will probably be one of the most fruitful sessions for our students, and even for me, possibly if I followed everything that you know, Gurleen and all of you had to say, Simran. very lucid very pointed very relevant wonderful and uh, hats off to all of you all your team girisha palak all of you wonderful uh, wonderful effort from you all i'm sure my students have uh, you know learned a lot and i'm sure the way you have organized this is also going to be a big learning for them to be able to uh, give so much in uh, four sessions must have needed a lot of thought a lot of passion a lot of uh, you know planning so i hope students astha um, parajita uh, all of you varsha and all the campus ambassadors all the crs have taken a leaf out of the book and you are now going to help me with the flexi job scheme that's the one coming up ahead thank you madhura thank you for being there in the session uh, it's been wonderful but then this is not the end it's just the beginning and we are going to have so many more more webinar sessions and more programs hope the flexi job things take uh, you know starts off soon and uh, girls do uh, reach out to the programs and courses that they offer there'll be some more coming your way so be part get registered most important please get registered with afh we cannot go on like this you have to register and to take full benefit of it so thank you once again it's been wonderful and uh, thank you girisha and palak for taking the initiative for this it's been wonderful ruchita madhura hands up for you thank you girls thank you students for being part of this do learn do finish your assignment and you know certificates will be there waiting for you but please finish your assignments and circulate it and then the certificates come your way right so by take a lot of time thank you thank you so much ma'am i would also like to call ruchita ma'am who has been a constant support and guided us throughout the professional upskilling workshop series wow today's session once again very engaging very nice uh, and what can i say about these sessions each has been a learning for me firstly i'd like to thank you nandini ma'am in spite of being unwell and for being the torch light and uh, helping us reach jd women's college i keep telling everyone that had it not not been for you we probably wouldn't have been where we are today and it's only because i see how passionate you are to actually do something good for the girls and i keep telling these girls also that i have interacted with a lot of colleges there but the way i see you wanting to do it for your college girls that is amazing and uh, we uh, i must tell everybody here that nandini ma'am has actually been down with covid and yet she is here with us today 
all in good spirit and uh, we love that kind of enthusiasm and i can definitely say the linkedin session has created an impact because nandini ma'am i finally see you acknowledge messages on linkedin and are back <laughs> which i know you were not on linkedin though i saw your profile there with four contacts if i must say initially when i started to see how i can get in touch with you so that's a start and i always say that you know there is no age to learning learning happens every day whether it is my age whether it is nandini ma'am whether it is madhura each day i learn something from my youngsters our youngsters learn something from us but that process always continues and uh, it's very important for you all to actually register with us because we do so much that we ourselves don't know how much we can explain there is so much happening there is so much happening there is so much of excitement there is so much of enthusiasm and hats off to palak girisha and all our other uh, uh, volunteers and i would definitely uh, take a few minutes to tell their names because what they have done is amazing there has been so much excitement at our end and they've handled it so maturely they have devised plans they have had dry runs they have taken the time to make pdfs to document it in such a way that even if you have no knowledge prior you can still go and use those templates and that is the kind of power that afh has and spreads and you all should be willing to take it but before i end i have to talk of the few names which uh, definitely need a one minute applaud for from everyone over here girisha palak rashmi tejasvi jenifer pankti neha samruddhi yashasvi mehak ankita samya netika shreyanshi dhwani kanchan mahika gurleen simran sneha and zoya these have been the volunteers from our side and definitely it wouldn't have been possible without the volunteers from jd women's college a few names that i must definitely say who have helped us reach the other girls sanju astha ayushi sushmita singh monica varsha disha sneha surbi jyoti and roshni this has been wonderful girls and i am hoping that today's session has created an impact on all of you we had about 120 girls who attended the session ideally by end of day i should see 120 linkedin requests and uh, remember one thing which i learned from linkedin is as we mentioned definitely put in the name of your college since we know that today we gave a session at your college and that would be the best way that we can rec we can recognize you and if you do not happen to do it right today for some or the other reason and you make your linkedin a few days later when you connect there is always a small button of message and that's where you can say that you are from jd women's college and you attended our session and nobody will ever forget you so these are two tips that i have learned and i would always like to say and uh, we cannot wait to have more sessions like this and we look forward for any more feedbacks that you wish you like some more sessions and of course please uh, volunteer be a part of our uh, ambassadors and it's a beginning of a new journey a journey into uh, i would say new careers new beginnings new connects whatever it just doesn't end and you will see each day as exciting as ever thank you so much Thank you so much, ma'am. Now it's the time to announce the best organizing committee members from JD Women's College, Patna. These two girls have throughout shown their active participation and a lot of enthusiasm in getting new members and throughout the webinar planning. Let's have a big round of virtual applause for Varsha, Rani, and Astha for being awarded as the best OC members. Congratulations to both of y'all from Team Regional Activations. The badges will be mailed to you soon. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, with this, uh, we come to the end of the professional upskilling workshop series. Thank you so much to all the speakers for sharing such amazing insights with us on MS Office, document writing, Canva, and LinkedIn. 
I would like to thank everyone for joining us today. Do let us know how know your feedback in the chat box. Do sign up as members of Aspire for Work to be a part of our upcoming workshops and to avail various career resources. You can check out www.aspireforher.org/learningaspire for various free courses. We also have a bunch of jobs and internship opportunities. Make sure to check them out on our website. For any queries, feel free to reach out to Aspire for Her on any social media platform. We are on Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, YouTube, Medium, and Shiros. We would also like to conclude by thanking Madhura Ma'am, Ruchita Ma'am, Nandini Ma'am, and the entire AFH team for helping us organize such an amazing workshop series and for various other free opportunities and career resources. We will soon be back with more such amazing workshops. Till then, be safe. Goodbye.